Hi guys, my name is Alexander and I'm here with my colleague Timo, together with the producers Clint and Herbert. Herbert, can you please tell me a little bit more about the inspiration about this new mechanic? I mean, uh, here at Quickspin, we, uh, we always love a cluster game, uh, but uh, I still feel we could do more with cluster games. There's, there's certain limitations, you know, and uh, I think we've stumbled upon something really cool. Uh, I mean, I think it's the coolest thing since uh, peanut butter jelly, you know, to me. Uh, with this uh, chaos cluster mechanic, um, which combines, you know, a sort of a mega ways mechanic with the cluster game. So uh, we have different size uh, symbols on the different reels, which creates, you know, really unique uh, cluster patterns, which have not been seen before. So I'm really, really excited about this launch. Yeah, really looking forward to it. And that, of course, then leads to the next thing. When we have different size symbols on the game, you also have the different kind of connection between the symbols. Because when you look at classic cluster games, they always have the same size. So you have to con connect on the full sides of the each and every symbol to create a cluster. But in this Chaos Clusters mechanic, we have taken that to the next level with the new size of the symbols. Only a partial connection is enough to create a cluster. And that obviously can lead into cool snake-like patterns going around the whole screen, creating clusters that you have never seen in any, any cluster game before. So it's a very new, unique mechanic that I personally am very, very excited about. And I'm, you know, I'm very much looking forward to this yeah, one. Me too. But what about the, uh, let's talk about a bit more of the art style, for example, then. Obviously we went for the name Asticons, obviously comes from the theme as well. Like, why did we end up on that? Yes, I think... story behind it. I think uh, it, in cluster games, it's really important, for, especially from a mobile perspective, to have good readability. Uh, and I think uh, having an um, Aztec theme fits really well with the readability, with the color scheme. It becomes very clear uh, for the player to read. And having so many symbols and different sizes all, on the real layout uh, could create complexity. But I think we've mastered that uh, by having this sort of theme with uh, very distinct colors and uh, patterns that stand out even on smaller devices. I think you're quite right there, because obviously it's a, like, it's a completely new mechanic for the whole industry and the market in general. So uh, an Aztec theme with clear colors, simple symbols actually helps the player to understand the game flow and the features a lot more. For example, when we have the, uh, the Turning Twins feature, like for those who maybe haven't seen the game yet or don't understand what we're talking about, the, uh, the feature itself is quite simple, so you need to have two of the same symbol of the same size in different reels to have a chance to connect between them. And once that happens, they draw a bit of an imaginary line between them and convert all the symbols in between to the same symbol. Now, actually, when I said it, sounds a bit complicated, but, uh, you know, same no. symbol, same, same position, same size. You yeah. know, those three things you have to remember, and then you have the chance to connect with the feature. And that obviously is one of the key features of the game, alongside with the, uh, the Chaos Cluster mechanic. And uh, that feature obviously is powerful in the base game and also in the free spins. The free spin is quite a classic thing. We have a two, uh, progressive multiplier on the free spin, so each and every win will grow the, uh, the multiplier. Right. And imagine this if you go later onto the free spins and you have this turning twins feature, you know, that's where you get the big wins. And that's yeah. where you get the max wins. And the max win is? 25,000, it's capped at 25,000. And we, we saw with Cash Rock released now in January that, you know, that, that max win dropped a few times in the first couple of weeks, right? Yeah, it did. So we, we can expect that this game will have similar expectation that, you know, let's see, five five times in the first two weeks potentially or something Yeah, like no, I, I foresee it hitting quite early. Uh, I think that it's definitely got potential with this uh, to hit really early. And even without, you'll, you'll be hitting 5k wins, 10k wins quite frequently, so... It will be an exciting game, both for streamers and players alike. No, I, I feel so. I've played the game quite a lot already as, a, as an early prototype, and I'm, I'm in love with the game. I, you know, Clint here next to me, he knows that, you know, obviously doing cash truck and big battle mega ways, but, you know, now I'm leaning slightly more towards this game, which is... I know, is, it's becoming a new favorite. Yeah, so uh, it's, it's a tough, tough bite for you, but uh, that's how it is. Yeah, no, I love this game too. I think it's uh, really catering to my kind of uh, player type. The thing that you can get a, a, a huge win in the base game, so you don't really have to wait to get into the bonus game before you see a big win. Uh, then of course, I mean, yes, because of the volatility, it can really explode in the free spins session also, but yeah. yeah. Speaking about the twin feature, will that trigger every time they are on the same uh, position? There's a 50% chance for that to trigger. Yeah, it's roughly 50% chance, so you'll have the T's as well. So sometimes it doesn't go off, sometimes it goes off. All but right. it's, so it's part time. of the excitement. Really? 
Uh, what RTP versions can we expect from this game? We'll have uh, 87, we'll have 94 and 96. All right, so three, three versions that you know, obviously can be used in all different regulated markets. You know, Germany obviously as the new regulated market needs lower RTP, so that's suitable for our partners there. And then the 94 and 96, so uh, it's uh, for available for each and every client in all the markets effectively. Yeah, and all of them have the buy feature also. Yes, correct. Impressive. What about, you know, like I said, I'm so excited about this game. Are we planning to maybe do more of this in the future now with the uh, the mechanic, especially now we have something new, maybe trademark, so... Uh... Absolutely. Absolutely, yeah, I think uh, it's untapped. It feels, you know, we've opened up, you know, fr fresh well, you know, of exciting gaming, you know, so I think this really has potential. You can add the Chaos Cluster mechanic to lots of cool features to get yeah, great great combinations for new games so i think this is just the start of something great i truly hope so I, I believe so and i hope so i would imagine that we in the future will see this in a lot of our cluster games as just you know a new staple feature or mechanism that we use for the games down the line i would imagine that it will happen for uh, the glyph series too just to make it you know fresh it's definitely a mechanism that makes the whole cluster uh, genre feel fresh again. No, you're right with that, because when you're looking at cluster games of the past few years, they've started to be, obviously, they have new features and new mini features inside the games, but they're all about, like, you know, let's say, you know, grindable features. You have to play for hours to get a super bonus or something like that. But now this is actually a new, you know, breath of fresh, fresh air into the whole concept of cluster games. So it uh, should be very, very interesting. Super excited.